It's time to answer one of the biggest questions on my channel, and that question is, how the heck do I do these? So I have gotten um, a lot of comments asking how I made um, quite a lot of these bays. Um, not really the turn system ones, since I've already made a how to build on them, so we don't need to cover that. But we should definitely cover the new sparking system, as it is a bit more complicated than other systems. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get right into it and we're gonna start with the drivers and then we're gonna do the layers and then the chassis because the drivers are Very basic and don't need that much explanation. All they really are Is this so this is a driver. It's just a 2x2 two two at the bottom and then you have the stuff on top and they are Fairly tall actually. They're quite tall in comparison to like other Lego drivers. So uh, Yeah, nothing else. There's nothing else to really say about them. So We'll move on to the layers, which is a much more complex part of my system, so this will take a little bit more um, explaining. Wow, I didn't even need to jump cut, that's crazy. Um, but anyway, we're going to go through each and every kind of layer that I've made this this far, and uh, yeah, we're just going to explain like how to basically, like what's the basic shape of them and whatnot, so we're going to start with... 4x4, four four. so this is a 4x4 four four layer, and this is Sage Spriggan. Um, as an example, this is also a fused um, chassis and layer, but you can just like make it slimmer, like only one brick um, wide, or one stud wide at the side, and then you can um, add the chassis on like that, but this is fused. It's basically the most basic uh, shape you can possibly make with the LEGO Beyblade aside from like square bays or something like that um but yeah also i do want to say i did update this guy's design um so i added this like 4x4 with a 2x2 hole in the middle and it also is pretty interesting because when you put it in attack mode the right spin mode it's much lower so i guess that'll be interesting to try out but that's not what we're here to talk about we're here to talk about some funkier shapes the real reason why people watch um these videos so these are, of course, 2x4 bays. They're pretty rare. They're actually not that common. I see them a lot more, but only from like a couple people, like Lego bays and such people. I don't know, I can't name anyone off the top of my head, but they are actually really, really good for things like attack Beyblades because it makes the shape like an oval. So it delivers a lot of hard hitting uh, hits or whatever. Um, and they are pretty, easy to make as well. Um, at the bottom, they have a simple four stud connection to attach to the chassis. Now, um, how do you make this shape? Because for some reason, some people just don't know. Um, well, you start with, of course, a two by four, then you add those um, one by four brackets, like the ones like they have like a one by two connection, but they're like one by fours um, on the bracket part. Yeah, you add just four of those and then you add on the contact points. For this, it's different because it does use normal 1x2 um, brackets, but, you know, depending on what you're making, you can use either or, it doesn't really matter that much. Now, let's move on to, um... Uh, a one-bladed Beyblade? So this is Minoboros, uh, Matrix Minoboros, one of the most unique bays, <laughs> honestly. Um, just not, not like on this channel, probably one of the more unique bays, like, out there because it's built like a regular um, Lego build. It's just built up like this, and it does kind of work. Um, it does it does deliver some hard attacks with this point right here. The only problem with this is it has nothing to do with the shape. Um, well, I guess that is kind of unstable. You might have to tape this thing up if you want to make it. And you can see like the basic shape of it down here. So copy this if you want to make the layer. Here's the top. That's all I'm going to be showing you. I'm not going to show you I'm not gonna take apart every single Beyblade for one review each. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't have the patience. Um, what were you talking about again? Oh yeah, right, this thing. Uh, the main problem is that it has brown plastic, and brown plastic breaks way too much. So, yeah, it's kind of crappy, but with, like, I don't know, if I want to make, like, a recolor of this guy, maybe, like, um, gray or, or whatever. I don't know, I'll make a recolor of it at some point. Now, let's move on. The three-bladed shapes. Three-bladed shapes. I actually have seen these, like, a few times, specifically when they're built like this. 
but I've seen them like twice, all right? And both times they were either just this or just this, but really, really big. But I have managed to find out how to make them like actually like decent shapes. Also, upgrade to last week. Wow, that's crazy. I hate it a little less now. But basically, you have the centerpiece right here, which is pretty common on my base. Um, oh, I dropped it now. But, um, yeah, it just has a, uh, one of these axles and then this big gear right here. And then the shape is a triangle with these hinges and then some studs on the inside like that, which the gear easily notches into. Um, now Ragnarok is slightly different. It uses the same, like, gear and stud thing, but it uses this, um, kind of like, what is this? This gray piece? I don't know what it's called, but... It uses that just so it can fit in um, with the wings, so, uh, yeah. Um, but they're not that great in terms of performance. How they look, I'd say Ragnarok looks a lot better, but how they perform, they perform okay. Um, it's just that I haven't made a very good one yet. <laughs> yet, I do have another one of these guys um, in development right now, and uh, it's finished, and I'll... And I'll release that in about a week or so. Spoilers, but, uh, yeah, nothing else to really say about it. Let's move on to Five Bladed. I never see these things, um, out in the wild. In the wild? On YouTube. <laughs> I found a wild Helios. Um, but it is pretty, um, it's also pretty basic, but pretty complex at the same time. It's weird, but, um, we basically have these hinges, which are all stacked on top of each other, and pay very close attention. These are, like, ratchet hinges. They have, like, a snap. Use them. This is, like, this is fundamental number one, all right? Use, okay, when, you, besides three-bladed, always use ratchet hinges. They're much more sturdy, and there's also ball hinges, which are also very sturdy, but they move around quite a bit, so I don't like using them, but ratchet hinges are probably the way to go when you make these guys, but, um, yeah, five bladed bay, crazy. Uses this gear right here, and an axle, and we have a centerpiece. Um, and yeah, and then you have a decent Helios. And finally, Mystic. Now, in case you guys don't know, I bought my turn. Um, this is um, the sparking system version, which I recently made, so I thought we, we'd include it in this video. Um, but yeah, this is a huge layer. It's really massive. This is like the main portion. Um, and instead of stacking the hinges, like, you know, stack it up, and stack it up, and stack it up, and whatever, you alternate from stacking them from the, then you have it on the top, then the bottom, then the bottom to the top, to the top to the bottom, you do that, um, and then you have this shape right here, and while it is very big, it's very bulky, it's very wide, it does make, I can't stop bumping my camera today, but it does make for a pretty unique, um, Valkyrie shape, and I only recommend it for Valkyrie, honestly, because, again, it's big, okay? Um, but yeah, this also uses, or um, ratchet, uh, hinges or clips or whatever, so, uh, yeah, you can just, like, if you want to make this guy, just copy this, copy this, uh, there's like a big gear in the face and this, whatever, um, but yeah, that's just how you make that, basically, and, uh, yeah, that's about it for the layer shapes, so they're all very unique, and they're all compatible onto all of the different chassis, we have a lot of chassis, um, to show off, I just gotta take off all the drivers, that is not the chassis, that is a driver, and there we go. So this is all of the chassis that have been released thus far. And we're just going to go over the basic categories. So we have like your basic um, uh, four um, sided, your four by fours. Um, so yeah. Also the Minoboros chassis is now 4A dash instead of 1A because I don't know. I thought it looked cooler and it fit better. But yeah, very simple designs. We also have the um, 3D chassis, which is a little different because it is free spin, but you flip it over like that, and now it's locked in place, but it is still a 4x4 shape. We also have the 1S chassis that released on Ragnarok, which, um, oh no, wait, this is 3 Oh yeah, also I renamed this to, um, 1S-, because again, that just made more sense. 
because it kind of looks like the 1S chassis because it's round and thin. But, um, yeah, it's, I guess you could call this like a brick built because it's, again, built like this. Um, but it is still kind of like this, to be fair. It's still kind of 4x4-y, but enough of the basic designs. Let's get to the funky stuff, which is, um, <laughs> funky stuff. Oh, my God. Um, but we have the 2A chassis and the 1B uh, chassis. We'll start with 1B. Basically, it has this tire, then it has two circle plates inside of it, and then this to attach the driver, and it's built in a similar way to Helios. Originally, if you saw the video I released it in, um, it had, um, this same gear that was inside of this, but that didn't really make it compatible with the studded bays, like the bays with the studs at the bottom to connect the stuff, but, um, yeah, this is so much better. It's pretty locked in place and this is fundamental number two use tape i do suggest using it especially for the more fragile stuff because it just holds everything in place and it doesn't really hinder like performance or anything at all so i suggest that um and 2a is much of the same if you saw the short you know how to make this but if you don't uses the same center as 1b um and it has uh the triangle shape and stuff and uh yeah, it uses these very small uh, hinges, and it's um, it's pretty fragile without tape. Again, tape this guy up. I do suggest that. Thank you. Now, what I think is the coolest part of this entire system is that everything is compatible with each other, which is pretty cool. For example, you can take like this thing, you can take this thing, you put it on, and oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> This is, this is whack. This is so weird. Left-right compatibility, it's really strange, but it does, it does work. You can put 1A on Ragnarok, and, oh, that kind of actually looks pretty cool. <laughs> and you can put, um, the weirder shapes onto, like, bays with studs at the bottom. So you can put this on here. It makes a big gap, but hey, it works. You can put this onto, uh, Dragon. Whatever, everything is compatible. And I think that is the main, like cool thing with this whole system that's like the main takeaway from this you can like make basically any part when you feel like follow the basic shape of the stuff and then you can mix and match and it's pretty fun um now in conclusion i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you all right so so basically uh <laughs> i can't speak today um i want you guys to make some of your own bays in this system and not just for clout, <laughs> but because um, I want to see some fresh new designs. And I don't mean just like take this thing and make it into Kronos or something. No, I mean I want you guys to like make some brand new um, shapes or whatever and make it all like work and be compatible and all that, all that junk. Um, because I think that would be really, really neat. I feel like there's a lot more potential um, with this system and I think it'll be pretty cool to see some more stuff. Um, but that wraps wraps up this video. This was very this is a pretty long video like 13 minutes. Wow um, But yeah, that's like the pretty like basic um, breakdown of all this stuff um, But yeah, that's about it. Um, if you like this video, I can't throw anything. I don't have I, Let me I, I can throw I can't throw my launchers for the outro. So um See you later